Hi there. Look at this peacock. In this beautiful morning, I'm on a morning cycling trip. And when I saw the beautiful manifestations of the nature, my temptation to videograph them becomes so intense that I just took off my camera and started taking the pictures. So beautiful place. It is not always learning, but it is also watching how the nature tells its story of greatness and success. How the nature is going extra mile to protect all its creatures. This is the biggest lesson we can learn from nature. And if we really learn also the lessons from nature extra mile, we can also be highly benefited and we can be very effective in serving the mankind. This is one of the greatest secrets of success for any person who has developed the habit of going extra mile. Extra mile is that without any anticipation for compensation or reward, you are rendering greater service and better service, whether you are paid for it or not. But remember it, if you stick to your task, you will be compensated Compound interest on compound interest in due course of time. But people should know that. They should, they should have the patience to really go extra mile. Learn from nature. If you really sow a seed of a mango tree, you will see in due course of time, the mango seed will be transformed into a mango tree and you will have much more, many more mangoes. That is the greatness of nature. And nature is so beautiful and nature is so magnificent and nature is so great. So beloved friends, learn these great lessons in life to go extra mile. Love all, whether you are getting reciprocation or not. Care for all, share for all. Give them whatever best you can give. Believe in giving, giving, giving much more without any anticipation, without any greed, without any lust, without any hope that you will be getting some kind of reward for it or getting some return from it. And then you will be highly benefited. Selflessly, the greatest service of mankind is to render selfless service to the entire humanity. And then you will see that how beautiful is this planet Earth. But people are selfish. They are grabbing others. They are trying to destroy everything else just to solve their selfish end. And there is the misery, sorrows and suffering for the entire humanity. They must learn the lessons of going extra mile, means giving, giving, giving. Forgiveness. Always loving, kind, compassion heart, based on truth and love, truth and justice, peace, love and non-violent attitude in life, wanting nothing, anticipating nothing, caring for everyone. That was Jesus Christ, that was Buddha, that was Confucius. We may not become such great teachers and great spiritual leaders, but definitely if we keep on thinking such great thoughts and noble thoughts, then we will be definitely elevated to a new level of greatness and success in life. Greatness is to give. And to give, you should have. So you get a big responsibility. You have to learn more, you have to earn more, you have to become very useful and very productive persons on this planet Earth. And not only you should have the ability and capability of 12 riches, a lot of money, a lot of wealth, a lot of wisdom, but a heart which is full of wisdom, full of kindness, full of the attitude, the attitude to serve, to help, to care, to share, 
And Gandhi, one of the great Indian, he had the dream to wipe tears from every suffering humanity. Of course, these are really very extreme cases because the population is very much exploding. It is a big, huge problem. We cannot make everyone happy. The government of different countries are not able to eliminate poverty, illiteracy, provide medical facilities, health care to every person. It is just because of people are going extra mile in population also. This is great threat to humanity. We should have quality population and then we can really feed everyone, educate everyone, care for everyone, make very healthy, happy and prosperous human beings. But the illiterate community and some of the religious fanatics, they believe in increasing the numbers to dominate the whole earth. Ignorant, indolent, thoughtless people, they are destroying the beautiful nature. You will find that the elite class people, educated people have just one child or maximum two child. They are never going extra mile here. But they know that more hands, more mouths to feed become a very big challenge. And to educate them and give them the best facilities, make their lives very useful and very productive, become a very challenging task. So, beloved friends, let's unite and educate our mass so that they should focus on going extra mile in creativity, in learning, in giving people wisdom, wealth, money, education, everything else selflessly. And then definitely the world is going to be a beautiful place. I really feel very happy and proud that today, this morning, I just become so much infatuated, so much inspired, and so much happy that I could not stop my flow of thoughts. And I tell you, dear friends, I'm just nothing. But this is the impact of this beautiful nature. Whenever I come to nature, I become a different person and my heart becomes filled with love and the mind becomes very, very volatile. It becomes volcanic eruption and I talk something which I never think I can talk. And this is being approved by all of you. I really love you. This going extra mile means rendering greater service, quality service and better service to serve the mankind can be the seed of your greatness and success because if you have learned very thoroughly the Napoleon Hill 17 principle in the law of success which he wrote being inspired and commissioned by Andrew Carnegie you will find definite purpose of life master money lines Going extra mile is right here. Up our capacity for applied faith, personal initiative, pleasing personality, positive mental attitude. Positive mental attitude is really very, very important. Learning from adversities, misfortune, difficulties, obstacles, and impediments. Because every catastrophic, disastrous, Obstacles and reverses bring some benefits and some fruits of great quality. You have to invent that. What is that? And learn lessons and proceed. Maintaining a sound physical health. Complete self-discipline, self-control and balanced mind. Cosmic habit force. Remember it, beloved friends. If you want to be great, go extra mile in cultivating the great habits. As you can learn from all the greats, all the great sages, saints, poets, majority of them used to get up early in the morning. And similar is the case of mine, four o'clock, every morning I get up. And you see, I am on a cycling trip. 
साइकिलिंग इज माई स्टार्टिंग डे आई साइकिल साइकिलिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर मी देन आई स्टार्ट प्लेइंग टेनिस एंड दैट्स वाई माई हर्ट इज फील विथ लॉर्ड ऑफ लव फॉर द मैन काइंड एंड माई माइंड इज वेरी इमेजिनेटिव सो डियर फ्रेंड्स कल्टिवेट सच ग्रेट हैबिट्स एज यू सो द थाट ऑफ गुडनेस दैट बिकम अ रिएक्ट and as you cultivate the habit of goodness that become your character and if you build such a great character based on noble thoughts noble act you shape your destiny and you can say very strongly i am the master of my fate and i am captain of my soul let this peacock is teaching teaching lessons of getting up early in the morning being in the nature plenty of sun rays plenty of oxygen plenty of thoughts of greatness and success what better than that you need in life and i want to see you face to face too much of talking i have done now can you see your friend birendra dr you will excuse me for being in this cycling dress because beloved friends it is not my deliberate talking but it is a spontaneous overflow of the thoughts whatever little is hidden in the subconscious mind that overflows and i cannot resist the temptation may god bless you i wish you that you should learn this as a man thinketh in his heart so he is he is the greatest who is the servant of mankind beloved friends these are the universal truth he is the most successful person who makes more men successful and he is the great man who is self reliant self confident a believing person has faith in himself and who really trust god trust his own wisdom and knowledge and he can do it she can do it if she believes and he believes that he can do it beloved friends and our greatest asset is our greatest asset is our brain the power of the brain whatever the mind can conceive and believe the mind can really achieve for us just rely on your brain but tragedy is that majority of the mankind do not think <clears throat> thinking is using your brain keep on thinking einstein said there is not much of a difference between any ordinary human being and him but einstein concentrated on particular topic as long as he could not go as long as he could not discover something new in that he stick to it his stick ability but the wavering mind the drifting mind the fluctuating mind the flickering mind never concentrates for ordinary human being once albert schwarzenegger schwarzenegger nobel prize for psychologist was being interviewed in london and he was asked by the press people what is wrong with mankind and with sad face he said man do not think beloved friends start thinking and there give there will be no better place than this natural environment where you can go sit down meditate meditate understand the philosophy and theme of life the soul is on a journey in a pilgrimage this earth has been visited by great people but nobody could survive billions years but in short span of time they have made this planet beautiful 
They understood the mystery of the nature. They invented, they discovered, they mastered, kind, they mastered time and space. Our responsibility is also that we should leave some footprints on the sands of time. Become great, become successful person. You can also inspire millions of people to become happy and successful. Lives of great men all remind us. We can make our life sublime and departing leave behind us footprints on the sands of time, beloved friends. But remember, be patient. Slow and steady wins the rest. We have no wings, we cannot soar. But we have feet to scale and climb by slow degrees and more and more the cloudy summits of time. But remember, be not impatient in delay but wait. And as one who understands, when his spirit rises and commands, the gods are ready to obey. If you believe in yourself and have faith in yourself and you have courage to persist till you succeed, you can be a meaningful person, a useful and productive person who will have all the possessions, health, wealth, prosperity, peace of mind and you can be really an example for others to emulate. May God bless you. This is your friend Virendra Diyar. Thanking you very much for being an inspiration for me. Lot of friends watch my videos and I hear their comments. They are really my strength because my whole purpose is to be useful. And unless there is some kind of encouragement, motivation, inspiration going to you. I will not feel happy. I thank you very much and may God bless you. Bye from now.